Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial about using TeacherKit in the classroom. This is a helpful iPad and tablet app that you can also use on your Android or iOS apps on your phone. And it manages information about your classroom and about your students. I'll go into more detail and walk you through TeacherKit in a moment. But first, some of the useful features of the app include logging students' attendance, adding behavior, recording student grades, and completing um, student level reports. So first when you open TeacherKit, it's going to look like this. Um, these doors represent classrooms. There's also a setting and Dropbox feature, and then these are more options that we'll talk about later. To add or import classes from the plus drop down at the top left hand of the corner of the page, it'll present the menu and you can choose if you want to add a class or you can import a class from iTunes. This menu will pop up when you click add a class and you can enter a class title, the description, and you can add an icon for the class. You can also make a timetable, so saying when the class is going to start and end. Once you've entered a class, go back to the main menu and then click on the door to enter the classroom so that you can manage it. To navigate within the classroom, use the drop-down menu at the top of the page in the middle. Here you have the options for class summary, my class, attendance, behavior, and gradebook. In the my class option, you can see all of your students and their desks, and you can drag and move their desks to rearrange the seating arrangement in your classroom. In the attendance menu, you can easily click on their desks to record if they're present or absent. In the behavior window, you're also able to do the same thing by clicking on their desk. Additionally, you're able to provide notes if necessary. Within the gradebook, you're able to enter grades by clicking on this plus sign at the top of the page. This menu will pop up where you can enter what the assignment is, a description about it, the date it was, the maximum grade total, and if it was weighted or not. After you've done this, then it will give you this menu and you can enter the student's grades using this drop down menu. So now that we've gone over the basics, if you go to that drop down menu and go to class summary, this is the page that will pull up and shows you attendance, overall behavior, grades, and the grade level. If you have that entered for your class, that's under the settings menu at the beginning, which I'll show you in a moment. From this screen, you're able to import data and export it. Um, these will be the screens that will come up. I don't have any files on my iTunes right now, but it will give you a list of students or anything that you had to import. And then to export data, you can do the student roster grades, attendance, behavior, or the grade template. And this is easy that you can quickly export it and you can use tables or graphs. So if you're working with an IEP team or wanting to show parents some of the data about their student, you're able to do this quickly through um, TeacherKit. All right, like I said a moment ago, under settings, you're able to change the grade levels. This is in that main menu with the doors to all your classrooms. And under the settings button, you're also able to change the attendance type in this menu. All right, I hope everyone learned a little bit about TeacherKit. If you have any other questions, you can visit their website. It's pretty helpful with information and how-tos, or you can stop by the Ideas Room and talk to any of the staff members. Thanks.